Oh, what are you guys doing in here? Good morning, bros. It is week number nine of the winter build. Coming at you guys with a weekend episode. I know, I waited till the weekend. Nothing eventful or life-changing was happening during the week, so I waited till Saturday. We were actually getting ready to gear up and go on a recently slowed on trail run with a couple people. I won't be filming too much of that because this is a newer group that I don't normally go out with super often. So I don't want to be in their face with a camera like, hey, you guys like trail running? So anyways, I'm going to be making a quick breakfast and then we got to be at the trailhead by eight o'clock. So let's get to it. All right, so breakfast has been made. We have our electrolytes, we have our coffee, and we have an egg and cheese wrap. I used a whole wheat wrap. I don't know. They taste good. They look good. I have four whole eggs, and I have three slices of Swiss cheese. Now, I discovered on top of goat cheese being the goat of cheese, Swiss cheese is only 130 calories for three slices, well, thin sliced and 90 grams of protein so it's not a bad way to use up some of your calorie space for breakfast if you're somebody who thoroughly enjoys cheese so definitely recommend it but anyways i'm gonna eat this real quick and then we gotta get in the car quickly also throw in a little mustard it doesn't hurt all right leaving now uh, it is cold. My dashboard currently says 19 degrees. I'm sure with a little bit of that old wind chill, we're sitting down pretty uh, close to 10 or lower. I've ran in worse already this week because I did go out on Wednesday. I took a day off and I, it was the first snowstorm of the week. This is our second, was yesterday. And uh, it was close to one degree with the wind chill. And uh, so that was pretty pretty cold so I get about a 20 minute drive 2011 till I get to uh, the trailhead I'll show you guys some snow in New Jersey what a New Jersey snowstorm looks like. It's funny because people always ask me like, oh, you said you're from New Jersey. I never see you running in like the city. Well, to be fair, I don't go running in Camden because uh, it was just recently dethroned as murder capital of the United States um, by I think Wilmington. And uh, I don't live near, I, I live close to Trenton, but I'm about an hour away. And I'm about an hour and a half from Newark. And most people, when they think of New Jersey cities, they think of Jersey City and they think of Newark. I, I have no desire to go run in Newark or uh, Jersey City. So I stick down here in the Funner Plains. That's why I got all these trails to run, open roads to ride, and Cedar Water Lakes to swim in. So got about 15 minutes till I get to the trailhead at Atzion Mansion. See you guys when I get there. Okay, we're out here at the Atzion Mansion on the Forest Ranger Station. Now, I know the trailhead that's right here is the Mullica River Trail. And I'm going to warn everybody when they get here, because I was on this last week. And that's when I was in knee-high deep water, because the Molokka River actually blew out. But 
Should be a nice trail. It's absolutely beautiful out here right now. Good. Can't help but love it. Office is closed, so nobody's here, ranger wise. But finishing my electrolytes now. Nobody else showed up yet. They all live close though, so shouldn't be too bad. But we're gonna go hang out and uh, get adjusted to the cold. So take some clips while I'm out there. See you guys in a few. I know, who knows the next time we're going to see that. All right, run complete. A solid, snowy, 90.26 miles. And it felt good. It was really nice out there. We we really weren't we're like pushing it. We were pushing like just under a 10 minute mile. Um, it was really hard to go fast out there because it's just packed snow from two different storms on top of a uh, wet trail from rainstorms we had the week before. So really rough terrain, but it was nice. We took a lot of breaks. We were checking out some of the cool stuff out there. And uh, I need to get me some food. I had a piece of lemon cake. Um, it's a little squished. So I'm going to eat it still. But just get some carbs in me. And uh, then we're going to get some real food. So I don't know what we're going to get yet. But I think we're going to have a little cheat meal. And then maybe we'll go train legs. So probably hit up like Wawa or something or one of the delis. But let's get some food. All right. So we're at the gym now. I'm sitting in the parking lot, gonna finish eating, but we picked up a thing of these egg white bites or eggs and white cheddar. They are not white. These aren't the egg whites. There are egg white ones, but they're not bad. 17 grams of protein, just quick little pick me up. Um, and then I grabbed a large mac and cheese. I just wanted something warm. And then of course, coffee, because it's warm. And because I wanna have a good workout and I wanna feel appropriate, the legendary white monster. Can't go wrong with anything like that. So gonna drink and eat and then head on in and get a quick leg day, nothing crazy. I just wanna, I wanna get moving again. Um, still on the fence if I'm running tomorrow. So, but we'll at least get something in. So definitely do that. And then we're also gonna hit the sauna, so. We got that to look forward to. Nice warm up. So, anyways, talk to you guys in a little bit. I'm about to recap after the gym. Uh, quick workout, just worked my calves a little bit. I did a little bit of leg work, nothing too crazy, just because obviously a ton of stress on the lower body already. And to do more would just be counterintuitive or possibly cause injury. So after that, I sat in the sauna for about 20 minutes, which was quite nice. And uh, yeah, now I'm trying to figure out the rest of my day. And my plans came through, somebody hit me up with a 
opportunity that I just don't feel like missing. So uh, we're going to go out tonight, but we're going to drink a little more coffee and we are going to go whip up a quick uh, meal that I already have pretty much prepared. It was from yesterday, but yeah, right, let's see. So lunch, dinner, whatever you want to call it is prepped. We got some Swiss cheese on top, but we got some broccoli. We have some ground turkey and there's rice. Covered all the groups, just a normal rice bowl. So actually supposed to be on lunch yesterday, but my job ended up ordering pizza for everybody during the snowstorm. So I'm gonna eat this and then we're gonna get ready to go. We're gonna we're gonna not wear gym clothes out tonight. It's gonna be nuts. Who knows what's gonna happen? Well, I know what's gonna happen. It's actually gonna be absolutely hilarious. But I'll show you guys that when we get there. So see you guys in a little bit. Call me a spavergus. Yeah. We're dressed in red because we're going to represent Team Fireman tonight. You'll understand more about that when we get there. It's it's going to be something. At least I hope it's going to be something. But, yeah, so we're going to head out. I'm going to start the car up. Last man standing action. Royal Rumble. Oh, the ref left the ring. The ref yeah, left the like ring. Wait, hold on. We're outnumbered. It's only two players. insight and what that was our friend sent us a uh flyer that was just happened to be an event that was happening tonight at one of our local breweries that was a it's kind of like medieval wrestling league like they were actually hitting each other like i i got to hold some of the armor and some of the weapons they actually had some weight to them like you were getting hit you were getting pretty rocked but uh they're like a uh almost like LARPing league, but like legitimate, like they'll, they'll actually hit each other, but it was for charity. Uh, one of the teams was ex firefighters and one of the teams was ex police officers. And it's just something they travel around the country and do at different Renaissance fairs. And there's actually like a whole tournament system for it. So it was pretty cool. I just pretty much it's medieval fight club and uh, it was a fun night. So Anyways, guys, that is all I got for you today. I'm still trying to figure out if I'm going to race tomorrow because right now my ankle is a little sore. Uh, nothing, probably some Advil and some rest won't help. But uh hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend, a good rest of your week coming up, and a good rest of your month because we're coming at you with week 10 very soon. So anyways, guys, I will see you in the next one. Peace, bros.